Did you know, after the Vietnam War, the USAF realized that air dominance wasn't just about dogfighting with Soviet MiGs, but one of the biggest threats to US operations was Soviet command and control aircraft, planes like the Tupolev Tu-126. These planes were able to provide real-time tracking and guidance to enemy fighters, giving them a big edge in coordinating massed attacks. So, when the F-15 was designed in the late 1960s and early 70s, the USAF incorporated features for long-range intercepts of large, high-value aircraft. This isn't widely advertised because people associate the F-15 with dogfighting, but pilots and engineers at the time were actively thinking, how do we eliminate the enemy brain first? The APG-63 radar had extra-long detection range and high-resolution tracking, able to see even the big AWACS from far beyond normal fighter-to-fighter -fighter ranges. The jet was as much a decapitation platform for enemy command aircraft as it was a traditional fighter.